What's going on, guys and gals? Stock Jock here, up $1,383 on the day. Absolute smashing day for me, and a great way to end the year. Uh, this graph doesn't take into account today, it just, it's just a day behind. But finishing the year over 220% on the year, that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you're interested in my trading style or have any questions for me, please come in my free Discord chat. It's here. I'm here to answer questions. Also, I want to bring to your attention real quick before I get into the trades. Jason Bond Picks is doing their sale right now. This, this is, I signed up two days ago just to try it out, the Millionaire Roadmap. I've always been a swing trade uh, customer, but I'm trying it out. Obviously, I don't need it, but I want to try it out so I can tell you all more about it. I paid three grand two days ago, and in two days, I've already made back about half of the investment so for, th for 363 more days I think I can make up that other half so it's well worth it if you've been on the fence I highly recommend it at this price it goes away tonight no doubt or you know they'll probably carry this on through the 31st but you'll find the link in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube and when you go to check out be sure to put in the promo code Merry Christmas all right, first trade of the day was VTVT. This one was kind of a continuation play. We were looking for, in our chat room, the break of 616 to see what kind of move this would get going. Uh, as it was creeping up to 6 is when we decided to go long. We went long. I got in right under 6 at 597, right through here. Got a quick pop. And being the first trade of the day, I'm just trying to get green on it. I actually ended up selling at the top of this candle at 626. It did go higher after that. But you know what? I'm just happy with that nice win there. You know, like, what is that? 23 cent win on 2,000 shares. A great way to start the day. SMIT, this one really kind of hurt me. So it's, I was kind of hoping that it could, if it could pop over this 309 level, it would get into this gap and it would really get moving. But it did crack that area and it just didn't go anywhere. So uh, kind of unfortunate. But. Um, I jumped in as it was hitting my high, high day scanner. It popped up. It didn't go anywhere. <laughs> and then this can Actually, I was green on the trade for a second. And then this candle happened. Boom! And it dropped all the way down. Killed the momentum. And I had to try to get out um, in a decent area. I ended up losing quite a bit on that, as you can see, from 312 to 296. T-E-U-M. This one was a candle over candle in the daily chart. Um, I went long on it right I was breaking this high, thinking it would get going. Uh, it just... It, I ended up getting out of the trade to focus on NXTD. This is... I broke even on the T-E-U-M, but this one, NXTD, this one was a Jason Bond picks play, and this is why I subscribed to them. Um, the Millionaire Roadmap bought this. He alerted everybody else. You can see the volume coming in, and they can create a market. And it's just a great example of being in and knowing who's pumping the stock and be a part, being a part of it. Uh, I made about four cents on the one that I bought. Let's see, I bought at 367 and 371, so this is 4,000 shares. I sold my first lot uh, for about a three cent win, and then I rebought it at 390 or 373 and I sold at 390 or 379 and 380 so this was like a $400 win here just buying and selling through these pops I, like I said I bought here sold initially rebought for the candle over candle the one minute and sold through this spike here so really nice win and uh, really happy with that I did end up selling my FCEL trade, more so not because I didn't like the, the pattern, actually still like it, but I just didn't want to swing anything going into next Tuesday. I wanted to even out my account, so I just got rid of it for a, a very small profit out of the open. TEUM, this again was a Jason Bond play with the Millionaire Roadmap and, and his swing trading newsletter. Went long right here. Um, as you see the volume coming in, getting that pop through here as well. 
took 4,000 shares at 218 and 220 inside this candle, uh, and I sold at 227 and 230. So basically another $400 on that trade right there. FTFT, this one it was a, a a pop, a little bit of a pullback, and it was a candle over candle to one minute. I was actually kind of hoping it would go, <laughs> and I know what the company is. It's complete garbage, but it does like the move, so I was kind of hoping we'd get candle over candle in the daily today and move. When it didn't go, I should have gotten out immediately. Instead, I ended up holding for quite some time. Uh, right when did I get out? Inside this candle here, so it just faded on me, and I ended up giving it back about uh, what is the math on the eight? I don't know, more than I should have. So I can't do the math right now; it's way too late. So I ended up losing, I guess, like quite a bit on that trade. Uh, it's about seven cents on that, 140 bucks. My next play was KOS. This one was kind of just a, a one minute candle over candle right here that I was playing. Here's the pullback, tap the view app, coming back up, and I played right inside this candle for the break right there. Uh, I went long at 262, uh, a little early in anticipation, and the price action on the L2 just kind of scared me away. So I ended up just selling for about a uh, $45 win. LTEA. This one. It was kind of interesting. I went long for the candle over candle of the daily chart with the break of $5. I was just planted for the break of $5. And you kind of see the volume bars coming in here. Went long at 4.98, popped over 5, and I sold on the other side of 5 um, at 502 for about a $4 win. But it just moved so weird today. I mean, I don't know. It was, it was you know, a nice win again for holding for one minute, but. Uh, missed out on a, a bigger win for sure. CCCL, this one just hit hit my scanners randomly. I got in pretty early on it um, at 61, got a quick pop, and I sold for $200 win. And I almost hit the vet, almost hit the top on this one. Missed it by three cents. As soon as I sold, uh, the volume just dumped on dumped out of this thing. And the reason why I sold so quickly is because you know I did get in chasing a little bit so I'm just looking for a base hit on that kind of a play KOSS this one a little bit of a head fake we're trying to play for the break of you know this area right here moving up through here didn't happen and it, just a lot of volume came in and just sold heavily through there and it kind of flushed me out I lost about nine cents on that trade so $180 it could have been way worse uh, it's unfortunate because KOSS did come back later on and just go high a day. This is this is stock. If you look at the daily chart, it pops and drops, pops, drops, pops, drops, pops, drops. So it was kind of weird that this one broke out so heavily today. So uh, definitely a weird stock, but um, didn't make a lot of money on it like everyone else did. VERI, this one, uh, just I saw a lot of volume coming into it. And it was relative volume, like you see this volume, it's only 5,000 shares, so it kind of was just a, a shot in the dark, really. I ended up giving back about $40 on it, so it didn't really work out. CLNT, this one, I was kind of looking for, I had a, kind of a theory on it, if it could break the 760 level, that it tends to go to $8 pretty easily. It's like almost a pivot point, and today it did break 760, but... It didn't go. Uh, so as you can see right here, broke 760, went to 860, broke 760, went to 825, broke 760, went to nine something. So it's it has a history of breaking this pivot point and going, but today it just could not go. And I was hoping that it would. Uh, I went long at inside this volume here, looking for the 750 break. Went long at um, let's see. 748 sold half right over 750 and sold the rest of 751 just because of this nastiness that broke above it and just silt and it's just not clean so i just wanted to get out but uh definitely gave me a head fake on that one for sure i thought it would i really thought it would get going and hit you know eight dollars today just didn't work out a-R-T-A. This one was just a pure news play. Uh, I 
can't even remember what the news was. It was probably like a buyout speculation or something like that. And, um, or no, it was a, I think JP Morgan came out and said it's a buy in this area. So, uh, when I heard that news, I went long at 1825 right inside this candle here and big spike inside this candle right here. And I sold into that at 1862, nice, nice win, almost 40 cents on a thousand shares. So about 300 and seventy dollars right there very nice win x n e t this one was a jason bond play again uh, they went long i went long um, i chased it a little bit so i was kind of thinking he was going to pull back uh, i just missed the pullback and uh, or it, it didn't pull back i'm sorry it just kept on going so uh, i skipped it for about twenty dollars and i was thinking okay it's gonna pop move down and then go back up nope it just it just kind of took off from there and went 50 cents. So missed out on the big move, thinking that was a, I was going to get a, 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 cool, uh, a pullback entry that just did not happen. XGTI was a news play. It was, just, it was stupid news, but nonetheless, I knew it was going to move the stock. Uh, it's a stock I've traded before. News comes out that they're actually shipping an order that they received. Ooh, right? <laughs> nonetheless, I knew it was going to move the stock played inside that pop, uh, got for basically five cents out of the trade, uh, close to $100. My next play was XNET short. Uh, Jason Bond's group was selling, so I knew that, you know, three, four, five thousand people were about to sell a stock, so I went short. Uh, only a thousand shares, and as you can see, it just kind of washed out a little bit, and I covered into that for, you know, Eight cent win, eighty dollars. LQMT. This one, Jason Bond play again. Uh, the group went long. Uh, he took a crap ton of shares, but um, as you can see, the volume here is all them. And I took ten thousand and took about twenty thirty seconds to get fill in the stock, so I didn't like that at all. So as I got to twenty three cents, you know, about a half cent win, I ended up selling just to get out and took just as long to get out of the stock so not a huge fan of this stock probably going to have a huge day someday down the road but i don't know i just don't like the way it trades veri this one also jason bond bought didn't create a lot of volume just because it's a higher price stock and people tend not to play those nonetheless i wanted to give it a shot got in at 23.37 and it kind of just moved up slowly throughout the day i think i held this for quite some time I uh, sold, yeah, jeez, sold this way down the line here, held it for almost an hour, and I ended up making almost 30 or 20 cents on the trade, so it, it worked out for me. LTEA, this one, I was thinking if we could break this level here, you could see it on the five minute, then maybe we get a high day move. It just really didn't get going. Um, kind of see here on the one minute volume coming in bought into that volume at 538 and it just kind of fizzled out bottle volume wise couldn't break that 550 so i ended up selling for about a three cent win sixty dollars hmny this one i thought would have an end of the day rally as shorts would cover this one's heavily shorted and it just didn't happen <laughs> uh i bought right inside this candle here at 650 looking for that 650 break as soon as i bought boom it dropped and just sold off from there so lost about 140 dollars on this trade as i got stopped out uh through here uh, through in this this candle right here so teum i thought it was just going to sell off going into the close just like hmny so i went short at 207 and what happens buyers come in big, big time and just unreal my luck so i ended up losing about 20 dollars on this trade HMNY, I thought, okay, we're going to sell off now. We're going to continue the sell off. And I went short. And as soon as I went short, it popped up on me. And there was a block at uh, 642 that I thought was going to break. So I just wanted to cover to get out of there. And I ended up losing about $60 on this trade. But it ended up holding. And it did end up selling off. It would, would have made me nice and green on it. But I just missed that trade. 
and that's the last trade of the year. It has been a good year for sure. It's it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. People try to play the stock market to get rich quickly, and that just does not happen. You more than likely will lose your ass. So this is a a nice year for me. I'm very happy with that, and I'm looking forward to 2018 and uh, see what that holds. Again, if you're interested in this uh, Jason Bond Millionaire Roadmap Group that I've subscribed to as well, now's the time to do it because that that I don't know how long that sale is going to go on for. It probably will end December 31st, but click that link in the description below. Take it to that, you'll be taken to that page. When you go to checkout, be sure to use the Christmas code or the coupon code Merry Christmas to get that deal. Otherwise, it's ten grand, and I do know people that paid that, and they have no problem with that because they make a crap ton of money in there. So, if you have any questions on the Millionaire Roadmap, all you have to do is come to my Discord chat. The link will be in the description below. Right-click on my name and well, right-click on my name and click message. And you can just PM me any kind of question that you may have. So on that, I'll see you guys in the next video.